Hey, Florian Pros, it's Jerry Levinson here, and I wanted to go over something, a big mistake I keep seeing being made, especially in the last few months in light of COVID and everything that's going on uh, in the digital marketing world. Now, if you've worked with your web pro at all, and hopefully everybody has at least once a month, you're working with them, you're learning some things about website advertising. One of the things that you learn is when you place an ad, let's say you're doing an ad for carpet, um, one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're doing an ad is they have the customer go to their home page instead of going to their carpet page. So if you're doing an ad for carpet, a PPC ad or a Facebook ad, you want them to go to whatever the ad refers to. And in this case, if it's carpet, you want them to go to your carpet page on your website, not necessarily your home page. If you're having a sale, you're advertising sales and specials, well then you have a sales page on your website where you want them to go to. You want them to get the information that they are looking for and that relates to the ad. But here's the big mistake a lot of people are making. So not only are they having uh, their customers go from the ad to the home page, a lot of people are putting up uh, COVID messages. and. It's, hits you right between the eye. Hey, before you shop here any further, this is what you gotta know. Um, they wanna talk about their mask policy or what they're doing to uh, keep clean, what they're doing to keep you safe. That's an irritating experience for a customer to have. If I'm in the market and I'm shopping for a product or a service, like say, I am shopping for flooring, I'm shopping for tile, or I'm shopping for carpet, that's the information I'm looking for. If you hit me with a, a sideways message about something that I'm not looking for, and you wanna tell me about how you're handling COVID, look, I've seen it in every single grocery store and gas station I've gone into, every single website I've visited to. Everybody wants to tell me how they're handling it and they're all saying the same thing. The way that you wanna handle that is, well, we don't handle it at all, because I know that the customers that are concerned about it are gonna ask us about it. So my advice is not to handle it at all and have your way of handling it when they contact you. They can contact you on your web phone or they can uh, ca call you up and ask you what your policy is. Are you wearing masks? You know, if they're concerned about it, they'll ask you when they call, okay? But um, have a little tab on the side that talks about COVID and a button that they can push. So if they want to know before coming down, if you're gonna make them wear a mask, or what your policies are, how you're gonna keep them safe. If the customer wants that information, have it there for them. But don't hit them with it right in their face up front when they've clicked on your ad and they went to your website. I think it's, it's just very disruptive, and everybody in the web community knows this, that they know the best way to get the best results from your ad is to deliver them the product or service that they clicked on the ad for. And yet, still a lot of people are throwing this COVID message up. I think it's a big mistake I've seen uh, in all industries, in particular our flooring industry. So, wish you guys all the best of luck, and I look forward to talking to you more. Let's get back into this thing and start growing our businesses. 20 and 20, still got a long way to go. We can still kick some ass here this year.